feel I am never old. Oh, I just can't get over it. Bill. I mean the doctor and Bill. I mean Bill and Ted. Yeah, I mean even that works better. The doctor and Bill. What the hell? Bill. Oh, Christ. And then you've got all these people banging up with the theory, going, oh, it's called Bill because of Arthur William Hart, and oh, yeah, whatever, sod off. That is not a good way. So you're telling me in Hartnell's honour, right, that they named the companion who's black with an afro, Bill, for Hartnell's honour. Oh, hell <laughs> Um, for people that didn't see my live video that I did on the Facebook group, I really should start putting that in the link. <laughs> start putting the link down below. Um, I'll make sure to do that at some point. Um, um, oh god, my throat. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, I mean... Bill. I don't mind the companion. Actually, let me, let me just stop. Okay, so what was my reaction? I mean, I, I, I think a lot of people on here who are on my Facebook group, because the majority of you are, a lot of you guys would already know what my reaction is, but looking back on it, uh, I, I kind of feel a bit different to the way I felt previously. I mean, I was like, oh, okay, I think I was just happy that it was different, I suppose. I think that's the only reason I enjoyed that, that, you know, this little small scene, generally because it was new Doctor Who, and that's probably the closest thing we're going to get to, like, new content until Christmas. So I was trying to, like, make the most of it. But there's a lot of things in there which really piss me off, um, such as... Um, you know, not only we had so many recycled Dalek stuff, like, I know it's a small scene, but come on, how lazy could they be? Like, they they quite easily got, like, a Dalek in the scene, so, and in fact, why are they even using the Daleks to introduce a companion? Like, really? I mean, even, I would have been more happy even if it was the Cybermen, like, and they're making fun out of the Daleks. Um, yeah, that that just annoyed me. Like, I was I was hoping that this companion would be a bit more scared of the Daleks and that she's making fun out of them. Like, not even Donna was stupid enough to do that, and she was pretty thick. Let's be honest. So what? Um, but what I did like though is when she was like, "Oh, why don't they just say kill?" And then the Doctor was like, "Well." We don't really want them to, we want, do you really want them to, um, what's it, have less time. Um, so I quite liked that. I quite liked the fact that she's like, oh, okay, good point. Because then at that point I thought, oh, okay, so she's starting to realise the danger that she's, that she's in. I'm actually really interested to see um, the dynamic between him and, no, her, sorry. Oh, God, I can't believe I just said that between her and um, the Twelfth Doctor, generally because it's not the sort of person you would expect the Twelfth Doctor to travel with, because obviously Clara was a very well-spoken, very, you know, sort of girly sort of girl, who was, you know, quite a nice, sweet little girl, whereas I think this character, Bill, oh, I am never going to get used to saying that, but whereas Bill is quite um, a down to a very cockney sort of quirky and quite wacky sort of character, from what from what I've seen, I mean she might not be like that. Um, I can kind of see why people think that she's annoying. Um, a lot of people commented and went, "Oh my actual god, I I don't like her at all." Um, 
I kind of can see that because I've watched it a couple of times now, and there are parts where I'm like, no, I I I, I just can't get into it. I think it, I'm not sure if that's just because the way she was speaking, or is it the fact that I'm just it's not what I wanted. I mean, I personally would have wanted an older companion, more middle-aged, sort of like Donna, you know, sort of like having a woman in like a middle-age crisis, I would have quite liked that dynamic between 12 and the Doctor, because it would be quite, no, between 12 and the companion, because I think that would be quite challenging, um, but there you go, <laughs> but I'm happy they've gone for someone a bit younger, because perhaps maybe that will make it more relatable. I really hope she's not from modern day, but it is most likely that she is going to be. But from what the Doctor was saying, he was saying that the future needs us, and I'm not sure if that means that they were in the, in the past, or if that means what. But I assume that means that he's come from the past, and he's got to go to 2017. So I'm not sure if that's referring to, you know, 2016 now, or if he's referring to a different time and going to 20... So, well, there are rumours that um, this companion is from a different time zone, like the 80s or 90s, or perhaps even 70s. I would really like that. I would love a companion from the 90s, generally because, you know, Doctor Who was on hiatus at that time, and, you know, I think that's the only time where Doctor Who hadn't really touched in a way you know yeah we had the tv movie but that was even then that was like towards the end of the 90s so i think that would be quite cool to have like <clears throat> doctor who sort of do that mark because we never really got to capture the times of the 90s so i think that would be quite interesting and you know the 90s were awesome you know Obviously, I didn't grow up in the 90s, but I know a lot of people watching the show would have grown up in the 90s, and I think it would be quite interesting to relate to that. Or if she was from an alien planet, that would be quite cool. I mean, it doesn't exactly specifically say that, you know, she's an Earth girl, so... Yeah. All I can say is she's not what I expected. I mean, I had the feeling that she was, she was going to be black. I, I, I just had the feeling we were going to get a black companion. I, I First I thought, oh maybe it, it is going to be that woman from EastEnders. But it isn't. But apparently people were saying that it was literally hours before it was announced that this Pearl Jack, Jackie was... Um, Pearl Mackie, is it? Yeah, Pearl Mackie. Um, she was like... She started to come in the slot of all... Oh, May she was high on the list to be the new companion, and then it was announced she was. Kind of the same with what happened with Capaldi when he was the Doctor. So, <clears throat> all in all, I'm looking forward to seeing what Bill does. I mean, I I'm sure there's going to be more meaning to that. I really hope she's not called Billy, because I don't even like that. Although, that would be quite cool. I'd quite like it if, you know, she prefers to be called Bill, and then the Doctor just calls her Billy. Because I think mean, that would be... I think that would be quite fun. Because I, 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 it would be quite funny to have the top Doctor completely drive this woman insane. And then, you know, a bit like, bit like Ace, where, you know, she would only call the Doctor the Doctor if she was in danger. Whereas she would always call him the Professor, so perhaps that would be the same with the Doctor, you know calling her Bill when there's a serious situation. So that would be quite good. And that's another thing, a lot of people saying, oh I can see an ace vibe. I guess I think it's just the the slang and the costume, but in terms of personality, no, that is not ace. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where Doctor Who goes next year. I'm not sure if she's gonna be in the Christmas special or not. A lot of people are saying, oh yeah, she's gonna be in the Christmas special, but so yeah, that's it really. That's that's Doctor Who for this year. Um, we're probably not going to get anything now for ages. Like we won't even get a trailer for the Christmas special. Probably until like what children need. I I reckon we'll probably get something. But yeah, 